Trail. It's the oldest rail to trail in the United States. At least that's the claim we've been making for several years and no one has come close to even uh, close to the dates that we're talking about. This, this rail line was originally put in uh, to bring iron ore and limestone from the north of Danville into the furnaces here in Danville. So I'm only about a football field outside of Beaver Place uh, where the Robbins Trailhead begins. And this would have been a uh, steam locomotive line, so you, and it's on a real slight uphill grade. So in other words, as you're heading to the north and the railroad would have been carrying empty cars, um, it's going slightly uphill. They'd go out to the iron ore mines and the limestone quarries to the north of town. They'd load up and then they'd have a little assist as it's a very slight downhill grade into Danville. Um, and that continued for several decades. Um, I want to say it was built just before the, uh, I want to say it was in the 1860s that this line was put in. Uh, and uh, that pretty much ceased by the late 1880s, early 1890s. The local iron ore mines here in Danville were done uh, about 1889. I've never seen reference to any local mines producing iron ore after 1889 for a combination of reasons that I won't get into in this video. But uh, it's possible that the limestone quarries to the north of town still shipped uh, limestone in for a few more years, but it wouldn't have been long. Uh, and so this was an abandoned rail line by the, let's just say by the 1890s. And a group of Danville men got together and formed what's called the Danville Bicycle Club. They actually issued little pins. Um, I've never seen the pins myself, but now and then they do turn up at antique stores and whatnot. It'd be pretty cool to see. And uh, they issued pins and then they would, uh, bicycle the, the loop back here which suggests to me that the rail lines and the uh, corduroy railroad tracks would have been pulled up or I'm sorry the railroad ties would have been pulled up uh, wouldn't have been very good biking material to be riding your bikes without suspension on that so so as early as the 1890s or early 1900 this would have been a rail to trail which is unheard of in American history I, I want to say that you know if you google oldest rail to trail in the United States you get an answer from the 1960s uh, somewhere in the Midwest. So we have that beat by half a century or more. So pretty special. Um, this is now a, a, an asset that belongs to the entire community, thanks to the Montour County uh, Rec Commission. Um, so, you know, folks are welcome to come access this. It's public property for the most part, and it's about a three mile loop that you can head out and enjoy. And I will encourage you as you're walking the rail to trail here on the, the wooded part, the forested part of the trail, which is the original line that that I was talking about that hauled the iron ore and limestone. Watching the soil, now and then you'll see discolorations in parallel fashion, which is basically where there would have been a wooden railroad tie. Um, and when either that rotted or whether it was pulled away, different color soil filled in the cavity. And so you get kind of this neat, I've described it as a fossil of a railroad. So it's kind of neat. So that's the story of the oldest railroad trail in the United States right here in Danville, Pennsylvania.